The surging pandemic continues to be a nuisance across the world as the World Health Organization has warned that cases could spike in Africa. The government of Kenya seeks to intensify the fight against the novel coronavirus by arming the Kenya Medical Research Institute with special testing kits. The kits are from Roche Diagnostic, which will allow Camry to conduct a test for over 7,000 people for COVID-19. Acting Health Director General Dr. Patrick Amoth said the special machines will be distributed to different health facilities including Camry and the Influenza Center, where tests will be done and results provided in a shorter time. In terms of mass testing, yes, we have received kits from Roche Diagnostics, uh, enough to be able to test 7,000 persons. And uh, we will be able to deploy this in Camry where we have th uh, three machines. We have another one at Kenyatta National Hospital, a, third, a fourth one at the National Influenza Center, another one at Moi Teaching Referral Hospital, uh, then the two last one at uh, Camaria Lupe and Coast Provincial Hospital. Amoth further pointed out that after the mass testing, the government will be able to establish whether it's winning the fight against coronavirus. So as we prepare for mass testing in the next two, three weeks, this is what we are going to deploy and the beauty of what we are going to deploy is that now we will be able to do more tests in a shorter time. The COBAS 8800 machine can be able to do two to three thousand tests in about one to two hours. So in about two hours we can be able to test three, two thousand to three thousand Kenyans in one facility. So if you multiply that by the number of sites that we can be able to deploy, then you can see it's a huge huge potential. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe said health care workers and doctors will be given the first priority in testing as they are on the front line in combating the spread of the virus. Thousands of people have so far been tested since the first case was confirmed in the country on March 13th. The country has recorded 192 confirmed cases with 24 recoveries and 7 deaths.